Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the wrap feature in Onshape. I'm going to work through four different challenges as you can see on screen. On the bottom we have a number of different tabs as always. This tab here gives us an overview of the different activities or challenges and if you click on the icons for YouTube you will get access to the YouTube tutorials. On the bottom in this tutorial there is a, so a master part studio of what we want to actually achieve in this tutorial. And then we have a part studio where we can actually practice this technique. So if we have a look at this reference model here, we have uh, some text on top of this surface here, which is debossed, so that goes in. And then we've got some of the text which flows across this surface, this radius, and this surface, okay, which is embossed, so that's sticking out. So I was interested if you could actually use the wrap feature in Onshape to create this. So if we jump over to the tutorial tab at the bottom, what we've got is the sketch here for the positive and negative. What I want to do is sort of project that and get onto that surface. And then after that one, we're going to have a go at, say, this one here. If I could turn that on, there we go. And I want to see if I could wrap that around that surface, that one, and that one. Like so. So if we go up to wrap, and what we want to do, okay, is split. The tool is going to be the text and the target. As you'll see here, if you hover over, it says cylindrical. So it'll only, okay, if we select this one here, it won't work, okay? Basically what it's half is a cylindrical face, so such as like one of these here. So actually using that wrap will not work just on a flat face. It will also, if we go tools and we say target, I was interested if I could do it, select these flat faces and that. So not just, okay, that. I was interested, could I actually choose these faces as well? And the answer is no, I can't do that. So the way to do it is to use the split. So if we go to split and then we're going to go face, we're going to split this face here, so face is two split, and we're going to use that text. As you can see, that's now projected that and split the face underneath, like so. And then what we can do, if we have a look here, back at this sort of master one, and then use move face to move those faces down to create that sort of uh, deboss. So if we hover over here, okay, we have a number of different features, and what we're after is move face. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm just going to turn off, okay, that sketch, and if I select these by just clicking them one at a time, oops. So I'll just deselect that one, and there you go, select that again. So you might be thinking, well, why did you not just sketch on that surface and do an extrude? Now, I could do that for this flat surface. I could just create the sketch on there, extrude it up, or extrude it down and remove the material. I could do that. But if we use this split face, okay, and then move face technique, we can use that to our advantage when we do this next one and we want to go from that flat curve and then the angle there. So if I just say flip that around and two millimeters, okay, or even one millimeter, I suppose, and update that, you can see we've now got that sort of, okay, deboss feature. So if we go up to this one, we think, well, actually, why don't we just, just extrude it? So if we go extrude, and we select this, 
and we go say up to next and we flip it you can see we could go up to next but we've, we're going from that surface there so then we'd have to save that and create a sketch on here and trim it as well which is too much work so what I'm going to do is go to split again for faces to split I'm going to select if I just change my angle so face, sorry that part, face select that one, select that one and that one entities you can then see that's now projected across all three of those including the curve I can now save that or confirm it and hide that sketch and then I can use the same okay move just like these and if I say yeah let's got that one it's just catching up and I can then extrude that but because I've split okay the face and then I'm moving it it will actually take the curvature especially that radius there it will repeat that so again I can decide on how much I'd like that to stick out and it's actually following that okay face and it's going over this curve here or fill it and then going straight across there like so so the answer to my question is no you can't use the wrap even to wrap across sort of two okay faces like that this even at an angle you can't do that so to create that sort of technique okay you have to use okay rather than using the wrap you'd have to use a split okay and then move those faces either up if you want to make sort of an emboss or you can move them down to create a deboss thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.